someone who is teaching you to uh, the spiritual teaching. It just should be, uh, you should be able to verify it through the Holy Quran and through the teaching of the Holy Prophet This is the criteria. But also, you should do a little bit of what you call elbow breeze, meaning a holy prophet وسلم, a man came to him, he said, you make a breeze supplication for me, make dua for me that I should enter paradise. He said, then you help me too. He said, how? He said, be katra to sujood, with the increase of your prostrations. Al Imam al Nufari, radiallahu an, great Sufi saint, he had, he, 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 he saw in visions that his heart is prostrating. His heart was, it's called Sajdatul Qalb, the, the prostrations of the heart, not physical. So the physical is actually to bring about the prostrations of the heart. And he, he, he was bewildered. What's me? It's what happened to my heart. He was questioning all the, the people around him. And the great Sufi saints, the people of honesty, they're not people of uh, showing off. He asked someone, what's me? He said, my dear brother, I do not know. See, because they speak from experience. If they have not, it's, it's from dhok. Dhok meaning from a taste. If they don't have a taste, they don't say, I don't. They don't speak things they do not know. They're people of sidq, people of truthful, truthfulness. Allah, he say, be among the truthful. So he keep asking. One man here, one sheikh there, one teacher there. All of them, they said, oh, I don't So they told him, listen, there is a man in such and such a place. It's a very holy man, very honest man. Go and see him. He may explain your vision for you. You see how people are serious. Nowadays, it's, it's people, everyone. Oh, yes, I could interpret this for you. I could interpret. You go to the bookshops, you find people, they have interpretations of dreams. You know, I saw myself as a, you know, a Prince Charles. What's me? I don't know what's me. You're going to lose your hair. Eh? That's what's me. So, you know, so you get people with. It just is a fancy. You watch three movies before you go to sleep. What do you expect to see? You know, the archangels come and you know open your heart and wash it and fill it with wisdom. No, you will see stupid things. I remember once in W.A. West Australia, a brother from South Africa. He came to me. He said, "My dear brother, I, I want to ask you something. Please, can you help me?" I said, he looked very scared and worried. I was concerned because he's a very dear friend of mine. I said, what, what are you, what's the problem? He said, last night I was seeing this and seeing this and seeing this. And he was telling me about this dream he had. And I, I was really scared. What's me? I said to him, me, you've been watching Channel 9 last night, the program about executions. And he said, oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> he was watching this horrible program, and then he went to bed. He saw all these miserable sceneries, horrible imaginations. It is not a dream. 
a dream when you wake up and you feel refreshed and you feel like you're gonna fly. You feel rejoice, you feel the coolness, and you feel that tranquility, so you're not afraid. This is a dream, this is a wonderful dream. This is you tell it to someone whom you love, whom you respect, you know. But all these nightmares, the Holy Prophet, he say, you turn to your left and you just, you uh, spit three times. And you say, you know, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. You recite a little bit of Quran, say Bismillah and then you go back to sleep. Turn, turn your sight. So this is the, the conditions of humanity. We were talking about Sheikh of Neferi and the prostrations of the heart. So the prostrations of the heart, it is a very high spiritual state. And the Sheikh Neferi, when he reached this great saint, he asked him, can the heart prostrate? He said to him, yes. He said, when he get up? He said, never. The heart prostrates to the Divine Supreme Being. That to for eternities. So the practices we have is to reach that state, state of prostrations of the heart. Sujud al And this is why you have the heart, you have to be open, and the chambers of the heart, you have to be uh, cleansed and transformed as you have the heart. Within the soul, we don't start from the base of the spine, the animal self, and you get all that residue of the horrible animalistic way, but you start from the heart. So the heart, you open the heart, and if the heart has become enlightened, it's automatically give light to the intellect. And then, same time, give activates the spirits, which on the right side. And then, the mysteries of this life and the next start to open for you, because you open what you call the secret, which is in the center of your chest. The secret, and the secret of the secret. And this is all mentioned in the Holy Quran. And each one of them is required certain practices and certain purifications. As the first, when you enter prayer, you perform prayer, you make ablutions. So for this, there is a cleansing of the heart and cleansing of the spirit cleansing of the sir, the secrets. And this is all amazingly wonderful. And that is why human being, he have this amazing quality that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have ignited life, ignited life in him. He say, wa nafaqtu fihi min ruhi, and blew into him of my spirit. He have a beginning, he have a middle, this life, and he have no end. He's amazing, his conditions, and he's a state of, of, of affairs. Because he traveled to Allah, he traveled to the Supreme Being. Allah, he say, wa ila rabbuka muntaha, and to your Lord is the end. And there is no end to Allah. So you are constantly unfolding and experiencing this amazing spiritual travel. You are traveling through space, time, and reaching, entering the, to the essence. And for this we are very grateful to our beloved Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One, a 
among all of his creations, he created us a human. This is a great thing. He could have created us trees, seagulls, mm -hmm. eh? or kangaroos. He could have done that very, very easy. We are not belong to the mineral kingdom, but we have the mineral kingdom within us. We are not belong to the vegetable kingdom, but you could see our brother Dawood's beard grow, his hair grows. It's like the vegetable kingdom. Eh? And then you have the animal kingdom. That's the third. And we are belong to the animal kingdom. But Allah, through his grace and generosities, and his wisdom, he have given this a human aql, intelligence. And this is aql. Aql is not by itself. It's not like a Frankish time. You know, he put a couple of screws in his head. No. This is through the blowing of the spirit. The spirit, the blowing of the spirit is in the heart. And the heart gives a blood to the aql, to the intellect. And the, in, the light of the, of the spirit to the intellect make the person who he is. And he could develop his potentials as become from a human, he become a human being. And then he, of course, that is up to, through the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he could become under the angelic realm. He become, he have a, such a luminous nature like in angels. Or also he could go to the other side and he become dark. So he become like demons. As Allah he said, Kal an am. they are like cattle, like animals, but they are worse. <laughs> and in our time we have seen all kind of nations of the old times. We have seen them in our time. Our time it is like the boiling of the all the experience, all the nation, all the teaching, all of the methodology that's been available to mankind, it is now as a floating in the top. It's cooking. And I'm quite sure that the merciful Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as he said, that this this teaching, he said, will triumph over all darkness and bring felicities and bring happiness and bring a wonderful life for all the creation in this and in the next. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He have no business of punishing anyone. Allah, He wants us to go or from what he he wants his will no one escape it to what he likes what he loves and this is up to so you can't say on a day of judgment you stand before God and he said well I didn't know I didn't have a chance so he gave you the chance it's your chance to decide it's, they said it's some sheikh uh, describe it as like uh, destiny, going right or wrong. It's like standing in front of the traffic light. Light to change. It is you. It's up to you. If it's a green, you move. If it's red, you stand. If you gro cross it when it is red, there is a consequences. And you know this consequences. We know all of this quite well in our daily life, you know. If you throw pieces of, piece of paper in Singapore, immediately you get fined. Police will find you. If we exceed the speed on the road, we get fined. You go to any place, there is rules and regulations. But when it comes to the teaching of divine teaching. People, they want to do it according to their desires. 